Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Omar the Great. Today we're going to talk about the skeletal muscle action potential. Please remember to subscribe and hit that subscription button. Don't forget to share and like this video. Alright, so skeletal muscle action potential. What do we need to know from here today? We need to know about the different phases of the action potential. We need to know about the ionic changes the action potential and then we also need to know about the different channels that are actually closing and opening to bring about these ionic changes okay so to start with the different the phases of the or the phases of the action potential of this muscle we have okay when the membrane is at rest phase zero and then phase one and then phase two and then we are back to zero so what is phase zero so the phases so phase zero this is when the membrane is at resting membrane potential phase one the membrane undergoes depolarization okay and then it's phase two it undergoes repolarization okay however these skeletal muscles can also have something they can undergo you know they can make another let me call it phase three they can actually undergo hyperpolarization in some cases hyperpolarization okay so we as we already said in uh, the previous video uh, we say that the membrane potential okay when the membrane is at rest the membrane is said to be polarized okay the membrane is said to be polarized which means the inside of the membrane is more electronegative okay this electronegativity is established by the presence of some channels. We have the sodium potassium pump that pumps the three sodium out and then two potassium inside. Okay. And this potassium is also exchanged and always pumped outside to the leaky potassium channels. So this kind of this continuous interplay of these channels at resting state help to establish the resting membrane potential and in the skeletal muscles which is usually about negative 90. so what happens when the membrane uh, of these skeletal muscles is excited okay especially the following the nervous excitation this brings about electrical changes within the membrane okay so this brings about uh, ionic changes opening of some channels that brings about changes in the membrane potential okay when the membrane reaches at this voltage which is the called the threshold the threshold voltage which is about negative 75 in this muscle and this causes opening of some important channels and these channels are called the voltage gated sodium channels opening of the voltage gated sodium channels so we are back on these channels at rest the voltage gated sodium channels which has the uh, the activation gate at the outside and the inactivation gate on the inside so at rest the activation gate is closed so we don't have any influx of sodium okay no sodium influx at rest but as soon as the membrane potential reaches the threshold it causes opening of voltage gated sodium channels so these voltage gated sodium channels open and the opening actually is the uh, opening of this activation gate that will now be able to allow the influx of sodium okay into the membrane of the cell influx of sodium within the membrane of the cell okay by the sodium voltage gated sodium channels okay you find now the membrane is being shifted from the previous electronegativity the membrane is now becoming more electropositive and that is why we see the membrane potential now shifts from negative towards positivity okay towards positivity here okay so the membrane potential is shifting towards positivity and put it here okay until a peak of about negative 40 okay about or rather about positive 40 millivolts so the so phase one depolarization depolarization involves the membrane potential moving from electronegativity to electropositivity the membrane inside member of the cell is made more electropositive due to opening of voltage gated sodium channels 
and this causes this rapid sharp influx, uh, influx of sodium ions that's why you get this sharp shoot in the membrane potential because the sodium voltage channels actually open very fast okay so at the peak of the action potential here at that peak is this causes now closure of the voltage gated sodium channels the closure is due to the closure of the inactivation gate the inner gate of the voltage gated sodium channel closes so we cannot have any sodium that is coming into the membrane okay so sodium entry is blocked at the peak of the action potential okay after the closure of the voltage gated sodium channels this causes uh, opening of the voltage gated potassium channels remember when the potassium channels are closed at this point the inner gate is actually closed there is no any net outflux of what of potassium channels so these channels instead so when the voltage reaches at the peak causes opening of this inner gate of the potassium voltage gated channel and now we can have an outflux of potassium ions okay so this outflux of potassium ions decreases the electropositivity within the cell so that the membrane can be rest restored back to the electronegativity state at its resting state and so this is the phase okay this is the phase two or which we call the phase of repolarization this phase is due to the outflux of potassium outside the cell potassium leaves the cell to restore the membrane potential from electropositivity downwards towards back to its electronegative state to the resting membrane potential so that's why we see this curve so this this phase here is due to the repolarization phase due to the opening of voltage gated potassium channels that will cause an outflux of potassium ions however sometimes you get excessive outflux of potassium ions after the membrane has reached its resting state there may be sustained outflux of more and more potassium channels outside the membrane so the membrane now will get into a state of hyperpolarization so remember at zero here resting membrane state the membrane is said to be polarized okay but however if the membrane has extensive or more outflux of potassium ions gets into a state called hyperpolarization state okay so this is peculiar and typical to the action potential of the skeletal muscle remember we said uh, membrane at rest at negative 90 after the membrane has been excited at the negative 90 is at a resting membrane state due to the interplay of the voltage uh, of the um, the sodium potassium pump and the leaky potassium channels that keep establishing the electronegativity within the cell at rest so at rest the cell as a resting membrane state as soon as the membrane is excited this causes increased influx of positive ions inside the membrane up to the threshold where it causes opening of voltage gated sodium channels the opening of the voltage gated sodium channels is going to cause these channels are fast channels they open very fast and close very fast this is going to cause an a rapid outflux of positive ions a rapid influx of positive ions okay this opening of voltage gated sodium channel is going to cause a rapid influx okay of voltage gated of sodium channels to the voltage gated sodium channels so the influx of sodium causes a rapid shoot in the electropositivity so the membrane becomes from negative towards positivity up to a peak when the voltage gated channels close when the voltage gated channels are closed at the peak this is going to cause opening of voltage gated potassium channels which will cause in an outflux of potassium ions outside the cell the outflux of potassium channels ions outside the, the cell is going to restore the elect, the membrane from its positive state back to the electro negativity state okay sometimes you get an extra outflux of these ions and you get into a hyperpolarized state so this is what happens in the as the action potential of the skeletal muscle thank you remember to subscribe to share and like this video we meet next time